<laughs> yo, 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 this is Dorky Diggity Dave. I am right inside the Dork Lesson studio, which actually is everywhere and anywhere. This is coming off a request from Chuck, who wants to know how to turn images into links to other websites. So basically what this what this lesson really is, is making links in general. So I've placed on four images here on the stage. So I'm just going to call that images. Okay. Now your best bet huh? in making these links is to not actually make them links. And I know that sounds super crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and lock that layer. And what we're going to make are invisible buttons. And we've made these before with previous projects. So here I'm going to put an invisible button. All right. And I'm going to make one. So I can grab any color, no problem. I, I just took out the outline because I don't want it. I just want to have a fill color. Fill color. It kind of sounds like Phil Collins. Phil color. Maybe I'll stick in the Phil Collins track into the lesson. Either way. So here I've got a shape. And I'm going to convert this into a button. And we're going to call this button. Okay, so that's in my library. I'm going to edit in place by double clicking on it. And I'm simply going to move my up state to the hit state. Okay, I'm going to return back to scene one. And as you can see, I've got this whole uh, hot spot looking thing. Um, so this way I can put this over anything I want which then gives it the effect that it looks like a button. So if I test it right now, when I mouse over here, it's going to look like a button, okay? So, Chuck, are you listening? This is for you. So we want to make sure that we have an instance name. So I'm just going to call this B1, because I have a button 1, and this will be B2, B3, B4, okay? So I'm just going to Alt-Drag, Alt-Drag this over so that I have one here. Okay, and we can make it a little smaller because Thor is a little bit smaller there. Um, I'm going to change the instance name to B2. I'm going to copy it over and also make sure that it's big enough. And this will be B3 and B4. Not after. You knew that was coming. Don't even act surprised. Okay, so we've got our four buttons here. So the next thing we want to do is make the code. So I'm going to make a new layer. This is going to be actions. And I'm going to open up my actions panel. Now, if you remember, we had B1 through B4. So these are the names that we used. Okay, so I've got my actions panel here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say B1.add event listener. Okay, this is listening for an event from the mouse, so it's going to be a mouse event dot click. Okay, because we want to click and then send it over. And the function that we're going to use is b1 click handler. Okay, now that doesn't exist yet, we have to make it. So down here, I'm going to make a function function b1 click handler. Okay, and it's going to be listening out for a mouse event. Okay, so whatever I type in here is going to happen when I click on B1. Now, the thing that needs to happen is we want to navigate to a URL. So we're going to navigate to URL. Wow, that's, that's so awesome that they named it the same thing that you need to do, isn't it? Okay, so we've got navigate to URL, and inside there, they're looking for a request. Now, before in ActionScript 2, you would just kind of pop in an address inside of the get URL, and that's not how this one works. You need to create a new request. Now, you can either do that as a variable, um, or you can do it on the fly. I find it easier to do it on the fly. So in here, we're going to say new URL request. Okay, and we're going to put in the address of that request. This would be http colon slash slash www.ironman.com. Let's just say that's where we want to go. Okay, so that is your new URL request. Now, inside of navigate to URL, you notice that I still have my open parentheses. I've closed the one for the URL request, but I still have the navigate to URL open. So I need to close that off. Now, there are two options to put in there. One is 
you can either use the same window, which you'll have to end up putting a comma and self. Okay, and that would mean that you're going to use the same window, uh, the same browser window. Okay, by default, if you don't put anything and you just close it off, it's going to open up a brand new window. So depending on which one you want to do, either self or just leave it blank and it'll go to a blank new window. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and test this out. And I'm going to click here and it's going to open up my browser and go to ironman.com. Awesome, even though that's not what uh, I was expecting to see. So anyway, so back into Flash. So we're here. So the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that B2 now has a function. Now, I didn't teach you guys switch statements or how to kind of toss everything in there and make it only use one function. But to make it easy, you can just copy it and paste and change everything that says B1 to B2. So B1 to B2, B1 to B2. And since that's Thor on the second one, we're going to say www.thor.com. And we'll try that one out. Oh, forgot to close it. Here we go. So I'm going to test that. And you have Iron Man, which you saw. And I click here. It's going to go to Thor.com, which surprisingly, that's not what I thought I'd see either. But either way. So you could see that that is how you create buttons over images and make the images look like they're linking to other websites. So Chuck, I hope you were listening. I hope you were watching. I hope this helps you out. Tell your friends about DorkLessons.com. And remember... Becoming a dork is just a few lessons away.